there. Hi there, we're continuing today with our nautical studies. You've done such a great job with your maps and compasses. Today I'm going to show you how to do pirate scrolls and banners. When I was your age, I taught myself how to do scrolls, and I've been using them ever since. It's a wonderful way to give emphasis to uh, some words is to by putting it in a scroll. And they're really fun to do. I'm going to give you a quick um, fast forward version of how you can use a scroll. And then I found a really good video that tells you in very simple, clear steps how to do your own banners. So after you watch this video, I'd love you to go and look at that one. And your assignment this week is to do some wonderful banners filled with words to use with your classroom assignments. Stay tuned. So here's an example of how you can use banners. This is a, a compass rose done, done by one of my students several years ago. And you notice what a great job he did with the banners here and here. You can also do banners with a white pencil on black paper, which is pretty dramatic. And in this sample that I showed you, I've used banners a couple of different ways. I've used it here for my lettering north-south, and I've done a scroll work banner around the edge. So let's figure out how to get started. You'll need for this project your sketchbook, colored pencils, a planning pencil, and some outline markers. You have a Sharpie, but it might be a little thick today, so if you can find a ballpoint pen or a smaller pen, I think you'd be happy with it. I also have an eraser because with scrolls you need to do some planning and adjustments. So we're going to do a new banner here and in your classroom you're stuttering pirate punishments and pastimes. So that's what we're going to do. I'm starting with my planning which I've actually done a little bit. I cheated. I decided to put a skull and crossbones here. So I am going to put my skull and crossbones, and then I'm going to put my banners around it. So I'll show you how that's done. To do your skull and crossbones, just think of simple shapes, put them together, and it goes in here. Got those big eye sockets, a nose socket, and hopefully your skull has a few teeth left in its head. This one still has its jawbone, so you're very lucky. You've got a full one. And for that skull and crossbones, we need the crossbones, so hop over trick, hop over trick, hop over trick. And there it is again. Okay. So I want a banner here and down here. So I am going to start two parallel lines. I'm going to join them with a curve, and I'm going to come on back like this, a line down, a line down, and my final piece there. So I am going to fast forward up this. Remember, you are going to go nice and slow and take your time, and I'll see you back here later. have my basics drawn out and then you can go back with colored pencils and do some shading. Remember darker along the edges going off to lighter in the middle and of course you can do some color blending as well. I might do some purples with my blues. I might do some darker blue, blues on top of my lighter blues. You decide. Put my shadow back here. So have fun. Use your imagination. All I ask is that you do some scrolls. You might have a skull and crossbones. You might have some vines. What will you put in your work to make it your own? I can't wait to see it.